Well, what's up guys and welcome back to another vlog. So right now it's Thursday evening. I'm just about to dive into today's price action in the markets, go through it, um, take a few quick screenshots, learn from it, and that's my back testing pretty much done for the day in my own variation. Then I'm gonna be digging into some analysis and then I'm gonna be all prepped for tomorrow. So what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow is filming an entire day in the financial markets. See what happens, you know, there's a chance I don't take any trades. It's trading for you. But there's a chance that something may happen and there's a chance to take the trade and there's a chance that you will see the management you'll see. What I'm thinking at the time of the trade, what I'm thinking during, during the trade. Um, and just, I think it's good from an outside perspective to actually see that, to see that in the moment thought process. So always a big fan of that. So without further ado, I'm gonna dig, dig into some prep now. It's getting a bit later on, it's 10 to seven in the UK. So I'm gonna finish up here, get ready for tomorrow and then we're gonna crack onto it. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Welcome back guys, so it's currently Friday morning, it's about to go 9am. Um, we have NFP today at 12.30, so, and I've just got into a trade, so I'm currently in Euro dollar short, I've just been showing it on the clip before. So I'm currently in Euro dollar short, it's starting to commit to itself a little bit to the downside. I'm close to taking a partial profit, because what I usually do with management on trades is, once price gets to three to one risk reward, then I'll just partial out of a little bit of the volume, so 20% usually. Um, and that's just to really lock in the profits, that's really just to pay myself. I, I believe personally it's a good habit to get into. The amount of times where price will, you know, get to the three to one, four to one, five to one mark, and then retrace, and then if you take a break even or a small loss because of that, then um, I personally wouldn't take a loss if it was running 5% or 3%. But some people may do that so i just think it's just a good habit based on my journey so far to pay yourself it's a good psychological win almost just to keep reiterating the fact that um you know you just pay yourself and you're just on the right direction so i just think it's a good thing so i'm about to partial out of this if price continues to the downside so it's currently two three pips away from my partial profit zone um, and if we get to that then i'll be closing 20 percent of the volume so I'm just gonna work that out now. Um, so yeah, usually what I'll do is I'll put the max amount of lots in that I'm trading on that trade, and I'll obviously divide by 20% um, of the volume to work out how many, how much volume I actually close in the trade. So in this case, everything's worked out. And price is getting close. So I'll keep that there, ready to press close if that happens. But yeah, overall, we have NFP at half 12. So, you obviously will get a lot of volume in NFP or there's a chance of getting a lot of volume, a lot of speculation. It's been a big news announcement week this week. We've had a lot coming out in the markets. Um, so it's just one of those weeks. But um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see where, the, where price is at the point where NFP is happening. If price is at a, um, an area that I'm looking for potential buys in, obviously I'm in the sell now, but there is potential buys happening later on in the day, potentially, or um, then I may just choose to take profit or take a good partial. But if price turns before that and we get you know some movement to the upside, then I'm happy just to close the position before NFP. So we will see. <clears throat> and price is getting very, yeah, there we go. Boom. Sweet. So partial taken here. So I've just taken a partial here. As you can see, my entry point is obviously here, the black dotted line, and then the red dotted line is my stop loss. Just currently trade, but trailed above this little swing high here on the lower time frames. So what I'm gonna do now is move my entire position to break even to cover the risk, and I've obviously just taken a small profit as well. So I'm happy with that. So let's just 
move the entire position to that. I'll show you on the screen actually, so you can follow it along with me. So just watch that change in a minute. There we go. So risk is now removed from the position. And we'll see how everything plays out. But I'll give you an update as this trade goes on. And um, if I do take any more trades, I'll let you know. But being cautious coming up to NFP, because I don't usually like taking trades around NFP, but obviously it's still the morning. I'm still fine for time. Um, and we're just going to manage this trade accordingly. So, yep, yeah, I will uh, speak to you guys soon. So as we can see here from the chart, price is still moving to the downside. It's not the most impulsive move I've ever seen, um, but at the same time, that's fine. Price is within a, a larger range on the higher time frames. So I'm fine with that, we'll just see what happens next. What I'm anticipating to happen next is I wouldn't be surprised if we get a short term reaction from these lows here, but then I wouldn't be surprised if that low gets taken out based on the fact that if we look on the higher time frames, let me just switch to the M15. Number one, the momentum has started to kick in here. Obviously, a candle close is completely different to a candle running, so we'll see how this closes in six minutes' time. But I am still expecting this low to be taken out. So if I just move the camera down a little bit, I am expecting this low to be taken out and this low to be taken out. This low is completely different, but I'm expecting these lows to be taken out just due to the liquidity that sat underneath those lows here as well. So we will see what happens um, over the coming minutes and hours, but it's looking like potentially minutes. So we'll see how uh, this happens and we'll see if price takes out these lows as well. Right, so it's just about to go half nine here in the UK. We have got that reaction from price. The low is just being taken out as we speak. So as I mentioned before, we did get a small reaction, but it wasn't really enough to you know, present any higher prices. So we've just been taking out those lows now. So all that is is just liquidity generation, really. Um, so that's been taken out now, the lows have been taken out. I'm just now managing the trade. So I'm gonna be trading my stop down very shortly above a low time frame swing. But yeah, I just wanted to mention something quickly because obviously before I mentioned I was, ex I was anticipating the lows to be taken out and they have been they have been taken out now which is which is obviously good but it's very easy to get into that mindset where you think that the market has to do something and i think this is a dangerous territory i think do i believe it's possible to um get to a certain skill level where you can see and read the market of course of course but i think even when you get to that level and ease, even as i'm leveling up over time it's very important to remain consistent with that mindset of probabilities and trusting your edge and not getting too caught up in the fact that, okay, yeah, for example, these lows have to be taken out or I'm expecting these lows to be taken out. Anticipating is a different thing. Expecting something to be taken out, and it, let's say it doesn't get taken out, you're, you're then disappointed. You're so emotionally invested in every single movement of price, every single trade, and I think from a scalability mindset that's a very mentally draining mindset to be in whereas if you have a system that works whatever style you trade this is the good thing about trading i don't believe there's one way that you can trade the market there obviously isn't one way you can trade the markets but one best way to trade the markets i think there's different ways that you can capitalize on things and i think there's different ways that work certain certain systems certain edges that work better than others yes but there's so many different ways to trade. So whatever your system is, as long as you have an edge, once you have that backed by data, once you're confident in that system, and once you can execute that consistently, you just literally take the trades. I think that's the best thing. I think that when I start putting expectations on myself or the market, that's when the performance starts to <laughs> decrease. Whereas when I just let things flow, don't have any expectations on myself, just let things completely flow, be natural, and when I don't set expectations on the market and I don't get too invested in each individual trade, just let the sequence of trades play out, that's when I perform my best and that's when I just flow and that's when I feel where I can just 
just be super comfortable with the outcome. Whether, whether it's a win, loss, break even, it doesn't really matter because you're just disconnected from that emotional outcome. So just wanted to mention that um, because I used to be in that mindset. Well, I didn't, didn't start off in that mindset and I felt like it crept in a little bit from just a, yeah, just a few bad habits and I've obviously gone the other way now and got out of that. But yeah, I'm just gonna trail my stop down so you can watch me do it as we do it. Live management, here we go. So what I'm gonna do, basically, if price if price was to retrace and break above this high here, I wouldn't want to be in a trade anymore. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be trailing my stop down for that, above that high, locking in profit, and keeping an eye on price movements around the area that price is currently in now. So give me two minutes whilst I do that. And, and then we'll continue with the talk. One five four eight two. Boom. Sorted. Simple. No emotional attachment. Stick to your system. Stick to your plan. And uh, let the edge play out all the time. So that's the main thing I wanted to say. Um, you just can't be too emotionally attached to each individual trade. You've got to let the sequence play out. It's a casino. We're in a casino. The market is a casino. There's bigger players, there's smaller players. We're essentially the smaller players. Um, the bigger players, you're probably never going to hear about them or the behind closed doors and, you know, especially the bigger banks, the bigger central banks and, you know, they own a lot of the markets. So you can't, um, you can't think you can compete with them on their level because they're moving price. We can anticipate the price and we can follow the direct direction and you know just whatever your edge is just play your system if it works play your system but don't become so emotionally attached to individual trades i think it's a very very dangerous game if you get into that um, and i think it's just a, such an emotional roller coaster ride of emotions and you know euphoria disappointment overconfidence underconfidence it's, it's just dangerous so remain level-headed remain and trade with logic and just literally trade your system and let it play out i think that's the best thing um, and over five years of experience i can tell you that that is the best way to trade based on what i've learned so far um, and it's very obvious to some people but it's very easy for people to get sucked into bad habits and think they know better than the markets or think they can outperform the markets or just something along those lines of that mindset and i think that's just ego in the markets um, and you can't afford to be egotistical because the market will humble you very quickly. If you're egotistical or you're overconfident in the markets, the market will humble you very quickly. Um, which is a good thing because you can't, you shouldn't be overconfident anyway. You shouldn't be egotistical in the markets anyway. You should just trade what you see and not what you think. So, I'm gonna keep you updated. Price is starting to retrace a little bit. Whether this takes out the high or not, it remains to be seen. But if it does, I'll be out of the trade for a small profit yeah just just below three three R so a little bit of a small uh, a small win but regardless it's a win and um, we'll see what happens if price continues to the downside then I'll continue updating you as well Right, I just wanted to talk you through the management of this trade because I'm just about to close a position out. So, yeah, you can watch me do it actually over the next couple of minutes. So, price is in that area of interest. So I was looking for these lows to be taken out. These lows were taken out. Price is in the area that I'm looking at now. I'm gonna close it out now. Boom. So price is, I've closed it out now. So, perfect. And price is in the area that I was looking at as a potential buying scenario. Obviously price can still blast through this, but this is an area where we could see potential higher prices or at least a much deeper pullback. So rather than holding through that, I'd, I'm happy to back my profit, move on to the next trade. And NFP is in a couple of hours anyway, so I'm happy to be out of the trade now. Um, so that is my management on this trade, taking profit now on all the position, um, and I'm happy with the trade. So it was a quick I'm not risking a full 1%, I'm currently on 0.3% risk, so, but it's a 5R trade, so just over a 5R trade, so I'm happy with that, 
and um, it's the perfect end of the week and we'll move on to the next trade. Right, it's currently half 12, we've got an FP and it's just come out now so we're just getting a bit of reaction. So I'm just going to show you on the charts right now. As you can see we are getting a drop in price, which is why I wanted to obviously be patient around NFP because you can get some volatility. Um, and to be honest, I wouldn't still be in the trade. You can see price drop and you can look back in hindsight and you'd be like, well, you know what, I could have stayed in that trade, but you can't really be in that mindset. You just gotta execute your plan and stick to it. Um, if price have pushed higher from that price and had a give back, to, you know, three, four percent of the market or five percent of the market, I, I wouldn't have wanted to do that. So price is dropping quite aggressively now, but I'd still do the same thing at time and time and time again. So happy with my performance today. Um, if we get any more trades after NFP, then I'll obviously take it, but I just want to let NFP settle down for a little bit, let the market settle down to find its feet a little bit, and then we'll see what happens um, going into the back half of this afternoon. But it is Friday afternoon now, so markets will, well, the volume will be dying down around about 4 or 5 pm anyway. So I'm just going to monitor things. If something comes up, I'll take it, but if not, I'll just leave it until next week. But um, yeah, sat here sipping on some celery juice. Make sure you get those greens in, guys. Sounds cliche, but I just perform better when I'm eating healthily. My body and my mind's in a good state of mind. So that's a quick daily tip. But I want to show you something quickly, and I want to talk about... I've been chatting to a few trader friends recently, and I have noticed within my performance that I perform at my very best when I do not set any expectations on my trading. Um, obviously, I'm working towards stacking more FDMO accounts, and other potential prop firms in the works as well. Um, and obviously it's just scaling capital over time over the next five, 10 years. But I find when I set expectations on, okay, I'd like to do the FTMO by this, this date or this date or just setting date expectations or setting a certain benchmark for myself almost, I just find I just don't perform at my best. Um, when I do perform my best is when I'm just completely relaxed when it's when I've got alerts set in certain areas, I know exactly what I'm looking at, and I'll crack on with other work in, in the meantime as well. Let's say I've got something for YouTube or something for a different project or whatever it may be, and I know what I'm looking at in the markets, I've just left the markets. I'm like, cool, when price gets to here, I'm gonna look for a potential, or I'm gonna observe price, see what price is doing in that area, and then look for potential buyers or sells. That's when I perform my best, because I'm not sat there in front of the screen looking at the charts and I feel like a lot of people get sucked into that and I've been sucked into that as well in the past so me knowing that I perform my best actually coming away from the markets a little bit that means I can exercise more of that in the future going forward so something that I've noticed and I've noticed my performance is better on certain days it's only a month and a half worth of data so it's a very early at this point but I'm going to show you because it's pretty interesting take a look at this Set this down. So take a look at this, right? It's very, very interesting. Let me talk you through this. So I use a journal platform called Edgewonk and it gives you data to be able to just look through and go through the data. So as you can see, pretty interesting. So obviously you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday and Tuesday are obviously positive days. Wednesday and Thursday drawdown days. They happen over the course of the trades that I've taken, and then Friday, obviously very positive. With the pairs itself, all pairs are positive, but Euro dollar definitely outperforms pound dollar and Aussie dollar so far. Probably just because I know the pair in more detail, probably because I just, I'm just more comfortable with that pair because I've been trading it a little bit longer. Pound dollar second to that, and then Aussie dollar quite new as well. And then with that, obviously you've got percentage wise, obviously I'm only risk, I've only been risking 0.1 to 0.3% cap, so just bear that in mind, but obviously that factoring that in, these are some of the stats over the past month and a half worth of data, which is obviously not bad at all. You talk about 0.3% capital and then 3% best day is, is not bad, um, but that could have been on 0.2 or 0.1 as well. So pretty happy with that, pretty happy with the way things are going. My strike rate could be improved a little bit, but Overall, still performing very well and still happy with the way everything's going. But yeah, just wanted to talk you through that because it's something that I've noticed over the past 
couple of days to be honest just tend to perform well on certain days which is very interesting um, so yeah I'm gonna keep my eyes on that but yeah I'm gonna tune out again but I've got a few things to crack on with now for the rest of the day um, but I'll keep you updated and of course if I take any more trades I'll let you know as well so nine months ten months of solid graft to figure out this is how I'm training now is I'm almost at the point of unconscious competence where I can look at the charts and know exactly how I'm taking it where are they into it where are they managed and I, yeah I can confidently say I've taken a loss on that trade but the the higher time frame idea is the same yeah play the same narrative on me so it's like yeah, I can, I can kind of, I can kind of ironically laugh at what happened yesterday because I'm like, okay, it is what it is, I'm, I'm still getting from it. <laughs> All these thoughts keep me up at night, yeah What am I doing? Did I do it right, yeah All these thoughts keep me up at night, yeah I can't think straight, need the light I need to breathe, get me up and out of the sheets Under my feet, another cup of coffee and me That's what I need, my eyes puffy, I can't see I'm too tired to function, but too lost to sleep Hey, I think I need to be on something medication I think I need to figure out the segregation I think I needed just a better education To understand the world that's so complicated Intoxicated, every night faded just so i can sleep thinking that it's hated i feel hated i feel hatred i'm lost deep in my mind that i've created i have dreams where my life is devastated feel so real that i wake up shaking the thicker skin because this life is no haven nod your head if you get what i'm saying yeah. all these thoughts keep me up at night yeah. what am i doing did i do it right yeah. All these thoughts keep me up at night, yeah. I can't think straight, need the light, yo. All these thoughts keep me up at night, yeah. What am I doing? Did I do it right, yeah. All these thoughts keep me up at night, yeah. I can't think straight, need the light. I don't really think I understand this world now Got my head spinning round in a circle Everybody lacks what they need internal So they compensate with everything external Not trying to throw shade, ha, no way I'm just trying to find a meaning of life, hey This happiness if you try to live the right way Forget about what others have and live your life, hey Be aware of who you are, what you're good at Take a step forward, see where your foot's at Stand tall, stand proud, talk loud Every word out your mouth has purpose now You just gotta get rid of the bad thoughts hating others cause you know that they gotta lie forget that though you got plenty you're alive in this life you got time go get it all these thoughts keep me up at night yeah what am i doing did i do it right yeah all these thoughts keep me up at night yeah i can't think straight need the light oh all these thoughts keep me up at night yeah what am i doing did i do it right yeah all these thoughts keep me up at night yeah i can't think straight need the light oh Right, it is 10 to 7 in the UK and I finished up with the day, so done with price action right now. Um, so I just had some food, cracked on with other things. Uh, I did take one more trade by the way, so I took Aussie dollar for a sell which resulted in a loss, so happy with that trade. So for the to da total daily performance, obviously had the one win, which is Euro dollar, and then had the one loss, which was Aussie dollar as well. Happy with both trades, part of the process, part of the plan, on to the next trade, going into next week. So, so it goes, not all trades are gonna be winners, not all trades are gonna be losses, 
just part of the process. If you have an edge and you trust your plan, stick to it, the edge will play out. Um, it's literally as simple as that. So don't overcomplicate things, just take the trades. Let the sequence of trades play out and um, just improve your skill set over time and your psychology. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to finish up with today. What I'm going to do right now, what I usually do, because it is Friday evening, is I'll go back through today's price action. It's something that I do every day of the week. So I'll do Monday to Friday. I'll go back through that day of price action on the three pairs if I've taken a trade on that pair or if there's something to learn. So if I've missed a trade, let's say I've taken a trade on Euro dollar. I'll go back and I'll map out what I was seeing at the time, you know, why I took the trade in the first place um, and just, you know, just get in that mindset of why I took it and was everything correct, uh, is there anything I can improve on and that's my daily sort of back testing almost, um, it's just a variation of it because um, I don't do it in bulk anymore, I do it in sort of that way so I'm live testing it as I go along with the day and it just helps me learn and then say for example I miss a trade on Aussie dollar, then I'll go back through Aussie dollar and I'll be like okay, why did I miss that trade? Was there anything to learn here? And just really just cement that into my mind. So that's what I do on the daily. It does take a little bit of time, I'm not going to lie. It takes, if, if I have things to do on all three pairs, it's probably going to take me about an hour and a half. Um, if I just have one pair to do, probably going to take me le up to half an hour, if not less. Um, probably a bit less. So it's just that daily commitment. Show up every single day, do the work. And yeah things will happen over time, so, yeah. So I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow though, I'm not gonna do that tonight, because I wanna crack up a little thing. So usually I do that either Friday evening or Saturday morning. So this weekend I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning. Um, and I'm gonna do some analysis tonight for next week. It's just kind of just the first stage of prep. So what I usually do with that is I'll just go through, once again, exact same process of what I did two, three years ago really just a slightly different style and just, but still integrating the same same fundamental things. High time frames to low time frames, start in the higher time frames, map out what you're looking for, map out where price is, what is the nature of price, um, you know, do that on the, on the monthly, weekly, daily, four hour, one hour, down to the low time frames, map out everything I'm looking for and just build a narrative going into next week. So that's the plan of action for tonight so that I'm mentally prepared for the rest of the weekend and then I'll just repeat that process um, a little bit on Saturday and then more so on Sunday before I get into the market on Monday morning. So it just helps me prepare fully. Um, and yeah, I'm probably just going to crack on with other things tonight apart from trading. And that's going to be the plan of action. And then uh, it's bonfire night here in the UK. So going to go out for a little bit of fun with someone close to me and we're just going to go to see some fireworks. So that should be good. A little bit different as well. So I'm going to go there at 9 pm and then I'll probably get back about 11, half 11. So good way to switch things up for the weekend but hope you enjoyed the video once again it's been a full day of trading um, well it's very difficult I would say it's very difficult but it can be challenging sometimes filming as you're going along as you're taking trades as you're managing trades because you're obviously in a trade and I'm like okay yeah but I've got to film as well and I've got to manage the trade and then it's just they come they conflict sometimes but it is what it is get on with it um, but yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one which will be coming soon. So speak to you all soon. Have a good weekend. Have a good week ahead in the markets and let's get it. Speak to you all soon.